In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace the front calipers on this Chevy Silverado. Let's get into it. I'm going to take the wheel off. You want to remove this cap. I'm just using a pry bar, but I don't want to scratch the wheel. So I'm going to just use a rag underneath. Just pry the center cap off. Now we'll take the lug nuts off. Use a 22 millimeter socket. Now we're going to loosen this bolt up. This is the banjo bolt. Before we take the caliper off, it's just going to be easier to do it right now. I'm going to use an 11 millimeter socket. Just loosen this up. And then I'll just snug it down just slightly, just so the fluid stops draining out of it. We're going to take these caliper bolts out. Use a 19 millimeter socket. Loosen those up. bolts out. And grab the caliper and slide it off. You want to use a brake caliper hanger and attach it to the coil spring. Take the brake pads off. Slide those out. And take these two caliper bracket bolts out. Use an 18 millimeter socket. and slide the bracket off. Now we're just gonna take a little caliper grease and right on where the pad slides are gonna go, just put a little dab. That's just gonna prevent corrosion. Now take the clips, or caliper slide clips, slide those over. that. Then we want to take the pins out and there should be grease in here, which there is. If there's not a lot of grease, you can add some grease. Just use a little bit of silicone grease. Push that back in and you want to make sure the boot seals properly. Try to get some of the air out. Good, and we'll do the same on this side. Just double check. There is grease in there, but we'll just add a little more silicone. That's good. Take the brake pads. If you have new pads, you wanna use those. We're just gonna reuse the pads. Now this pad is going to go on the inside. Make sure it slides good. And this one is going to go on the outside. See it's shaped slightly different. And that slides good as well. Now take the bracket and pads, slide it over the rotor the bolts. You can put a little thread lock adhesive on the bolts. Get those bolts started. Now we'll torque those bolts to 129 foot-pounds.
Now take the caliper, go over the brake pads. And slide this on, put the bolts in. And take the bolt and get that started. Now I'm going to torque these bolts to 74 foot-pounds. If you have to, you can use a 19 millimeter wrench to prevent the stud from spinning. Now I'll take this bolt out and you're going to have the two seals. There's another seal there. We're going to use that. Now I take this caliper. Let's take the hanger off. We're going to take the line off right here. Make sure the reservoir has plenty of fluid in it. Let's pull this off. And drip a little bit. I'll just take some, I'll just take some locking pliers, try to get this seal off of here. bolt out. Just clean this up. And just pop the old seal off. Just want to clean that up a little bit. Take the new bolt. <clears throat> Take the new bolt and one of the seals, and that's gonna go on one side. The other seal is gonna go on the other side. Oops. It's gonna go on like that. And get that started on the caliper. Snug this down so that the fluid stops leaking. Now we're going to torque this bolt to 30 foot pounds. You want to check the fluid level, make sure it's up to the max line. Now we're going to bleed the brakes. We'll just take this cap off the bleeder. I'm going to use a 10 millimeter wrench. Just open up the bleeder. And we'll just gravity bleed it first. Just make sure you have a catch pan underneath and wait till you have some brake fluid coming out of there. And then we're going to get an assistant. We're going to have them pump the brake pedal. Go ahead and pump the brake pedal nice and slow. After it seems like the caliper's tight. Okay, go ahead and hold it. Now I'm gonna open the bleeder screw while they're holding it. You can see a lot of air came out. Now close it up. All right, go ahead, pump it again. And hold it. Open that slow, some more air. All right, go ahead and pump it. And hold it. A little more air. 
pump it up. And hold it. A little more air. All right, go ahead, pump it up. And this will be the last time. Hold it. And maybe a little more air came out. We'll do it one more time. Go ahead, pump it. And hold it. And that looks good. No air coming out. So we'll close that up. Take the cap and just wash it off with some brake parts cleaner. And then when you go for a test drive, you just want to double check after you're done. Just make sure none of this stuff is leaking. Just going to spray it off with brake parts cleaner, clean it up. Good. Now put the wheel on. The nuts on, lug nuts. Now I'm going to torque the lug nuts in a cross pattern to 140 foot-pounds to tighten the wheel down evenly. Just go around again, double check. Now put the center cap on, look for the valve stem on the back side. You want to line that up. And then just tap it on. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.